Okay, a student added powdered mag manganese oxide into two separate solutions, dilute HCl, dilute H2O2. Okay, so the chemical equations are given. So for A, right, it is a reaction. I think it's a redox reaction where you have a chloride getting oxidized to chlorine gas. And then for reaction B, it is a catalyst, right? Mag manganese oxide is acting as a catalyst okay, to decompose hydrogen peroxide to water and O2. Okay, the student then followed the rate of reaction B by measuring total mass of conical flask and its content over time. Okay, so you have table 8.1 showing you the result. Okay, so you are monitoring the total mass. Yeah. So what is loss is your in fact your oxygen gas okay so the loss the decrease in mass was due to the loss in o2 gas that was evolved so this is the graph that was plotted uh repeating the experiment at lower temperature what is the graph of your repeated experiment uh, so basically it is just a more gentle gradient okay because the rate is lower okay lower temperature results in lower rate of reaction okay so just take note of that student use the same method to follow rate of reaction a suggests why this method is not accurate in investigating rate of reaction a okay, the only difference is that uh, instead of oxygen gas you get chlorine gas uh, but chlorine gas as you know is soluble in water the mass loss is less than expected. Obviously, some of it might still be lost into the surrounding, but a large portion of it is actually dissolved in the water as it is evolved. So the mass loss will be less than expected. So it's not really accurate in investigating rate of reaction. Okay, so the time taken for the reaction to be half complete is not determined by halving the total time taken for a reaction to reach completion. Using the graph given, explain why this is so. Um, basically, if you want uh, uh, to get like a half, you need to get like a straight line. Okay, as long as the gradient is constant, then you will have a Half the, half the total time will give you a half completed reaction okay so for our case uh, it is not so because the gradient is not a straight line okay for part b the student modified his experiment to determine the rate he repeated the experiment by using a larger mass of powdered manganese okay so for a right the rate was significantly higher because there is an increase in total surface area. Okay, for B, um, total volume of oxygen gas remain unchanged. Okay, so we know that manganese dioxide is actually a catalyst, so there is actually no change in yield. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. 